today we're going to learn about a modern artist who's at work creating pieces of mixed media that are capturing people's imagination. Her name is Njadika. Let's say that again. Njadika Keneally Crosby. She is from Nigeria. Her parents were doctors and scientists in Nigeria. And when she came to the United States at 16 to study for college, her parents totally expected her to become a doctor. What happened? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Lauren with Yellow Bobby Pins Art Camp. I hope you'll subscribe and follow along for more fun activities and more artists creating in our world today. Injadika Keneally Crosby was born in 1983 in Nigeria. And she said, you know, even though Nigeria has been through so many big news things like wars and genocide and sad events, she said, you know, ultimately she grew up with many of the same things happening to her as happened across the world. Was she going to have peanut butter for lunch? Or was she going to have pizza for lunch? She wondered if she would meet her friends after school or if she had extra homework to do. She said she kind of did some ordinary things that people all over the world do. And her artwork reflects that. She graduated from college with a degree that had two focuses. Her first focus was biology, and she was studying to be a doctor just like her parents wanted her to, just like she thought she wanted to. And her last year of college, she took art classes. And suddenly she realized she had something she wanted to tell the world through art. And she began creating mixed media collages. And generally they're pretty big, but she's using fabric, she's using paint, she's using charcoal, she's using markers and pencils and glue to assemble these incredible collages that tell stories of a mixed up scene. So for example, there's a modern New York loft. There's a TV from the 1950s. I mean, where did they get this TV? It's a very modern house. Shouldn't they be able to afford a real TV? That's not the point. The point is that there are things from all different parts of our lives that combine together and make us who we are. In Jadika Keneally Crosby says, you know what? I have a lot of layers in my life. I'm Nigerian and I'm an American and I've learned so many things. I have biology and science in my background that I've studied, but now I'm an artist. And she says, remember, people are more than just one layer. And she begins to tell those stories in her work. Today, we're going to create our own mixed media collage. We're going to be painting. We're going to be cutting fabric. We're going to be gluing it down and adding some designs. Remember, not all flowers are the same. And it's okay if each flower you create is different. It's going to end up working together to make an amazing picture. So let's get started today. Go ahead and gather your supplies. You're going to need lightweight cardboard, fabric scraps, a pen, scissors, glue, and paint. Spread your scraps of fabric out and choose one of the lighter patterns to be your background. Once you've chosen that background, put the other fabrics off to the side and glue this back piece to your cardboard. Use lots of glue. Feel free to spread it around with your fingers. It's better to use too much glue than not enough. It's okay if your cardboard's a little bit bigger than your fabric. If you, that bothers you, we can cut it off. Now I've chosen my darkest pattern to be my tabletop. I've kind of guesstimated where I think I need to cut it. I'm going to cut a rectangle. I'm 
and I'll reserve the rest of the fabric for later in the project. Let's go ahead and glue down our tabletop. Make sure the edges are carefully glued. We're going to be tracing some flowers. Now I'm using a pen. You can use a marker, a pencil, whatever works for you. But you want to lightly sketch out some fun flowers. And I'm repeating the same design over and over. I'm cutting the flowers apart into big chunks. And now I'm working on the leaves. I keep changing my patterns of fabric. Oh, I just drew the stems, long rectangles. Go ahead and cut those long rectangles and spread them onto your collage. And then take a minute and cut out all the flowers and all the leaves. I grab my dark fabric and sketch some circles to be the center of my flowers for some contrast. I'm gonna glue down the stems for my flowers, trim off any extra. Get each stem glued down to my collage. And then I can take my flowers, my leaves, and begin to glue them right onto the surface. They're a little challenging to see right now. There's not a ton of contrast on mine. It depends on what fabric you've chosen as to how much contrast you will have. But go ahead and go with the flow, setting your flowers up. And now let's paint. I've started with white and I've added a little bit of pink just to create some interest. <gasps> it's time for the flower pot. And now I want to outline my flowers. I've added some light white in the background for contrast. You paint your design the way that works for you. But again, keep it light so you can see the texture through the paint. You don't want too much paint. Otherwise, we wasted our time with fabric. I love this beautiful texture that we see here. I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for watching today.